next guest tonight is a comedian making her network television debut. Please welcome Heather Pasternak. Hello. I am so excited and honored to be here. What am I, the Beatles? <laughs> I just turned 30. last July <laughs> and I really want a baby <laughs> just trying to find a man to lock eyes with <laughs> I think maybe I'm coming on too strong I don't know like are there any other women here trying to trap a, a have a family <laughs> a lot of poker faced ladies <laughs> I definitely scared away my ex-boyfriend, like all the time. I was just like, marriage, babies, marriage, babies, marriage, babies, just like chanting. And he was like, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> and he used to tell me, he was like, I'm really not that crazy about marriage and babies, but you know what? If that's what you want, I'll do it for you. And I was just like, are you proposing? <laughs> So I date a lot, because I'm trying to wrap this party up. <laughs> and I started making a list of what I want in a guy. I was like, I want a guy who's well-traveled, good with kids, joyful. I was like, oh, I just described Santa Claus. <laughs> but then something happened, you guys. I met a man, like a man. <laughs> like he was tall. I wanted to climb him like a tree. I was like, how do I get him pregnant without scaring him away? <laughs> But he lived in New York, I live in Los Angeles, and I actually got him to move from New York to Los Angeles for me. I know, I was excited, but I was also scared, but I was mostly excited, like, do you guys know in life, when you get anything that you really, really want, and you're just like, oh no! <laughs> like, I say I want a relationship, but when I'm in one, I don't think I'm actually very good at it. <laughs> Like one time I was just casually cleaning out this guy's wallet. <laughs> and I found a hotel room key. And I was like, what is this? And he was like, that's a hotel room key from when I flew you to Chicago and we fell in love and I keep it in my wallet to remind me. I know, and I was just like, oh, I love memories. Let's read your old emails together. <laughs> He hadn't had as many sexual partners as I had, and I was actually excited about this. I was like, I'm gonna be able to teach him some stuff. But he actually ended up teaching me a lot of things like um, eye contact, <laughs> kissing on the mouth, doing it pro bono. <laughs> if you insist. The first time we slept together, I liked him so much. I remember thinking, I'm gonna be good at this. And he called me out. He was like, I feel like you're being a little performative. I was like, me? <laughs> also, can you speak up? I'm Snapchatting. <laughs> but then he told me, we need to talk. So I was at that point in my relationship where I was picking out my breakup outfit I was like, what's gonna be so cute he won't be able to leave me? <laughs> so I showed up in a wedding gown, but with the nipples cut out. <laughs> but then he broke my heart, and if you sing it, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> he broke up with me on Valentine's Day. I know. But looking back, I'm like, you know what? Maybe it was kind of my fault because he did say to me, he was like, hey, is Valentine's Day important to you? And then I did that girl thing where I was like, no, whatever. It's a holiday invented by Hallmark. And then the day of, you're like, where are my flowers? <laughs> but whatever, it's not a test <laughs> until he fails. I do feel like he kind of led me on though because he'd been married before and he did say, I might want to get remarried someday. And I was like, Monday, this Monday? <laughs> and I'm not saying kids are for sure a cure for depression. 
I'm just saying, we'll see. <laughs> I know I'm the worst, because I know as soon as I have a kid, I'm going to be like, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and sometimes I worry that I talk so much about marriage and babies that if I ever do get married and have a baby, I won't have anything left to talk about. <laughs> I'll just have to be like, I want to be cremated. <laughs> And the thing is, you never know where you might meet someone, you know? So I, uh, I followed my friend to an after party, but it turns out an after party is actually just seven white people on cocaine. <laughs> Nobody's blinking and they're like, we're gonna solve racism tonight. <laughs> the guy I was seeing had a couple of kids, which was cool. But I'll admit, this one time, we were fooling around, and I got this weird urge to call him daddy. But then I was like, oh my god, no, but like he is a dad, so it's not hot, so it's not role play. And I just got all self-conscious, and then it just came out really weird. I was just like, oh, what's it like to be a father? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You can catch her at the Hollywood Improv in Los Angeles. Heather Pasternak, everybody.